think when I'm working with Fano and 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 the work we do in the community is to always just get back to what is the guts of Fano, uh, the parents' job, the caretaker, the guardian's role to look after their children and their grandchildren. Never mind everything else. Never mind what anyone's got to say about it. What's in your heart? And because when they can block out some of those other voices and some of those voices, if, if they're active in their church, especially if it's a more fundamental church, then those are loud voices in the head. And so we try and just say, let's quieten down all those outside voices and say what's important. What do they, and, and quite often, I rely so heavily on our ancestors to guide my work. And so when I'm working with Fano, then I say, what would, what would your mum say? Especially someone's in the past, what would your nana say? about this moko what would your mum say about this moko and when we've been working with whānau say who've been struggling with their child transitioning even if they're you know if they're a bit older and now we're getting more and more of our young people identifying as non-binary and and trans um yeah what would your nana say what would your nana say about this child and and what's actually important because never mind all of that other stuff and then it just helps bring clarity because we just have to remember that that's what's going on for them. That all of those voices that say things are wrong and they just bring back to stuff, I love this child. And especially when they say, you will always, I always wait, want to get to a point where they say, I just want them to be happy. Because that's when we can unveil and peel away not only those voices, but the fears. The fears that they have that this child will not, will get hurt will get discriminated against and it's like yeah that's a real thing that's the world and my core thing and only other people who will have heard me speak this is a thing I say over and over again is don't try and hide them away don't try to make them be something they're not love them so strongly that they can go out into the world and they can withstand whatever the world will bring be that person be that whanau do not let anyone muck with you and your whanau and so those are the kind of things bring up the protective side bring up the strength and the love and uh never mind all those outside voices because how dare they interrupt and interfere with your family